Romans chapter 6, verses 12 through 14. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lusts thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God, as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace." Christians today have victory over sin. There is an arsenal at a Christian's disposal as they can daily overcome sin. Christians, number one, can turn the attack of temptation to destroy us into approving of our faith, according to James chapter 1. Number two, Christians can submit to God, resist the devil, and speak his word, according to James chapter 4, verse 7. Christians, number three, can renew their mind, according to Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Christians, number four, can put on the whole armor of God and wage spiritual warfare, according to Ephesians chapter 6. Christians, number five, can come out of the world changing people, places, and things that caused us to sin in times past. Number six, Christians can exercise daily spiritual disciplines to strengthen the spiritual man. Spiritual disciplines such as daily prayer, daily devotionals, Worship, praise, fasting, fellowship, accountability. All these strengthen the spiritual man. All these items and more in the scriptures is offered to Christians to be victorious over sin. But the most important point for Christians to know is that we have victory over sin through Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. When Christians are born again, the old man is dead and the new man is alive to God. The old man, which was the natural man, which responded to temptation and did that which was natural living in the flesh is no longer reigning and ruling over us. The new man that loves the Lord, the new man that is filled with the Holy Spirit can choose to yield themselves to the leading and guiding and empowering of the Holy Spirit and not let sin dominate and dictate and tell Christians what to do. And here in Romans chapter 6 verses 12 through 14, the old man is dead and the new man is alive to God and we can make a choice to yield our bodies unto righteousness through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we can make a choice to walk away from sin by the power of the Holy Spirit. And we can make a choice to respond in love by the power of the Holy Spirit. Scripture teaches in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International with Dr. E.K.D. Quick. For more information, log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com. Dot com.